Hello, welcome back. So we are continuing to study about the performance acceptance criteria. In the last case study that was about the ACME Electronics migration plan from where they are going from a legacy ERP system to the latest version of Oracle ERP. All right, and then their user level was 30,000 users. So in this video, we are going to do another case study. So this case study is a different kind of application. Let's consider a new one year old startup company called Survey Blast. So their target is to have 1 million users take an online survey in one hour duration. All right. So if you consider the difference between the last application and this application, in the last application we have 30,000 users and those 30,000 users are using over a duration of 8 hours time frame. So maybe 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. But this kind of application, what we are now looking at, 1 million users going to transact in one hour. And they are using various web 2.0 technology and no SQL DB as data store. All right. And also they are using Amazon Cloud and then uh, they are also using auto scaling feature of Amazon Cloud. That means it will, it will on demand, it will allocate cost cluster. All right. And if you see the deployment, the deployment is going to look like this. So, so clients can connect either from their cell phone, from their TV or from their, their computer. And all of those are connected to, to, to Amazon Elastic Load Balancer. And behind that, we have different edge services at different geographical location. And the, the key things about edge services is the static content can be served directly near the client. That means if a user from Singapore is going to access the, the access the application, then he will be served from a Singapore edge location. Whereas a client from Argentina is going to serve from his edge location, which is somewhere in Brazil. All right. So essentially, this is how a distributed, so this is how this, uh, this survey blast has designed their their, their 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 infrastructure that all those things can be accessed in the local geographical area and then they are using different services like amazon simple queuing services amazon simple storage and they are using a distributed database caches and they are using they are using cassandra cluster which which are no sql database so that means these databases do not follow the rule of relational database management system. So, so this is how the deployment looks like. Right? So in this case, like now, now let's revert back to our previous system where we are basically giving this kind of performance exit criteria. Okay. So similarly, what, what should be the exit criteria here? Like let's say one of the exit criteria is that the user should complete the survey in less than five seconds. Okay, and then another thing about throughput that let's say we can say that there is 278 surveys will be submitted per second. So if you consider the kind of so if you consider the kind of thing that we are looking there is that we are we are our throughput for the billing system was 2000 accounts in two hours which is roughly about 0 0.28 transactions. But whereas in this case, we are talking on order of 278. So that means this system is more transactional or this system is like, you know, is crazy compared to the, the other system that we, we, we did about Acme Electronics. All right. So this is the throughput. Then Another thing that criteria that we can put, none of this system, like the mid-tier or the Cassandra clusters and so on, they should not exceed the CPU utilization should be always less than 75 percentage. Okay. And also another criteria would be that whatever it happens, that no survey submission be lost due to an application error. So that means for zero tolerance for a submission that to be lost because of application errors. Okay. So essentially, if I put all those things in a in, in a formal document, so this is how it's going to look like. 
the performance exit criteria of this survey blast application is something very different than the one that we discussed about a in-house ERP application. Okay, so for this survey blast, this is this kind of scenario is realistic, and this is the kind of workload that they are expecting. So therefore, our exit criteria should be something like this, right? So basically, in the last two videos, I gave you some some basically two case studies and showed you sample exit criteria that you define, all right? So with this, we have almost now ready to define the exit criteria for our project. Alright, so that's what we are going to do in our next video. Thank you.